hello guys this is virendra singh and welcome back at mastercam tutorials and toolpath this is our another one video for the mastercam flow toolpath and in this video we will cover about how we can use the flow toolpath and we will, in this video we will use flow toolpath with the help of two different method of tool access controlling so we will create this one a car alloy wheel with the help of flow toolpath on a mask with the help of flow tool path on a 5 axis machine so first let me show you the simulation for this one part how this is simulating and how will be looking like that how flow tool path is working and once completed the simulation we will learn each and every single detail of the flow tool path and what are the major issues which we are facing on the flow tool path and how we can make the solution so with the help of once you complete this video once you watch the entire video you will get the solutions each and every single solution for the flow tool path how it works how its things are going on so we will get everything about the flow so as you can see with the help of the simulation we create a flow tool path for this surface as well as on this edge if i would like to show you the flow tool path right at here so as you can see here we are creating the flow tool path first for creating that area second for cutting this one is so let me create the entire tool path from the beginning from the starting how the things are working and how we can control the flow tool path in a proper way so let me delete everything each and every single tool path just click on this one delete all operations and group and just say okay so now let me discuss on the flow tool path now once we are to create the flow tool path we have to came on a multi axis and we have to click on here flow so flow is flow is a basically tool path similar to the flow line in the mastercam multi mastercam mil 3d where we have to define a surface and controlling with the help of a flow direction so first let we click uh, select a tool at here i just selected a 8 mm of ball nose in the next step i have to define a cut pattern at a cut pattern i have to select the cut pattern this is how the cut pattern should be i have to say select first the surface which we have to create cutting the tool once we select the surface area we have to define the flow of my surface or flow of my tool path so as you can know as you know previously if you using the previously flow line tool path in a mill 3d so this is this interface is same same like as that we have to define the cut direction you have to define the offset you have to define the step direction and you have to define the start for now i just say i just have to create a cut direction should be like in this format i just say okay and now the remaining all parameter will be same this is the step over value the part size is larger so i just say the step over size is 10 mm so for now we are just uh, show you that how the tool paths are working the remaining all parameters are same like as the curve if you are new on this channel please go and watch the mastercam multi axis series from the beginning so we'll get understand the method of the multi axis and once you watch the curve tool path so you understand the, all the parameter of this space in the next step how now i came to the tool axis control in a tool axis control there are how you want to controlling the tool so for the entire tool axis control we are defining each and every method on our starting five or six videos so you can go and watch this for here we are controlling with the help of pattern surface and my machine is five axis rotary direction should be x in now just i just say okay so in general tool path flow tool path when you are creating you have to define the surface where you have to cutting the uh, machining area and the second is the how you should how you pull have to be controlled now we just say okay for both of these steps in the next step what we have to do we have to controlling the linking and remaining all so as you can see here we first we have to controlling with the linking so control for the controlling of the linking we have to came in the linking parameter at the linking parameter you have to click on plus and we have to defining the entry and exit just click on entry entry and always use at here this is the length we have to just say 125% of my total tool diameter and height should be 2 mm at the next step we have to say uh, what should be the exit curve entry curve uh, it is similar like as in a curve tool path lead in and lead out so we have to controlling for the multi axis with the help of linking so this is the entry parameter and the exit parameter this is first is the length total 
second is the thickness and third is the height how much it will be uh, reacting like in this direction in the next step we have to just say ok once we select and say ok so now let me see how these things are working so as you can see here this is my simple tool path but it's uh, not uh, looking properly so what is the need to be make changes again I have to came in a parameter if you came at here roughing uh, the it here we are at, uh, in a default thing the desktop cut is on I just turn off the desktop cut portion and again I have to regenerating the toolpath once I regenerate the re again toolpath so it's a perfect in a perfect way as you can see here this is the perfect toolpath look at like this let me know so this is first we are controlling with the help of this uh, flow the first area or a first surface after once it completed it came to the second portion and it's completed the second one also this is so best way so you can get understand about the flow toolpath so this is the flow toolpath with the help of pattern surface control and in the next step we have to be controlling over toolpath with the help of a single point so at here you will get understand about how we can controlling the toolpath with the help of a point as well so we have to create a toolpath on this edge so creating the flow toolpath again i have to go in a flow tool should be same like as the previous i have to came in a cutting parameter in a cutting parameter i have to select the surface so this is my surface and this is my surface and i just say and select now i have to decide how my flow should be work so i have to choose the flow should be like in this direction at here the distance is i enlarge a high length of distance so i reduce it in a 1 mm just click on a tool axis control and it should be controlling with the help of a point and this is my point in the next step uh, i don't just touch the remaining parameter and just say ok so this is a basic flow tool path i define the surface i define the flow of my tool path i define the tool axis control and now it's going to be work but if you can if you see this tool path in a proper way so there are some major, uh, minor issues are available right at here let me show you so tool is controlling with the reference of this point in a perfect way it's cutting in a good way and now at here this is when it's enter and exit so it's gouging on this surface so what we have to do we have to go in a pattern linking parameter in a linking parameter plus and I just turn off the entry and the exit the how much the distance which we are choosing this is the first method we have to controlling and the second method we can control with the help of check surface in a check surface I just define both of these surface it means tool have to not going on that particular portion or that particular area so now as you can see here uh, this is controlling with the help of this if you want to make control with the help of in a perfect way you have to go in entry and exit and you have to choose this off the entry and exit and just say ok or you can reduce the parameter of entry and exit this is the second method you can control it with the help of also so I hope you will get understand about that how my flow toolpath is working with the help of mastercam multi axis toolpath if you need this model which we are doing practice right at here you can join our channel on a mastercam multi axis portion and you will get access for all model files which we showing on our video so thank you so much for watching this video keep learning keep growing see you in the next video very soon